Iraq Persian massacres against Gaza children and women angered many countries around the world. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said that Turkey would do its best to hold the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and the Israeli killers of children accountable. French President Macron denounced the Israeli massacre and said that he felt angry and that international law must be fully honored. Irish Prime Minister Simon Harris condemned the Israeli bombing of the Rafah displaced person camp, describing it as horrific and raising serious questions about the international law. He also said, I'm proud that Ireland has recognized the state of Palestine along with Norway and Spain. The European Union Foreign Affairs Chief Joseph Powell described the Israeli strikes as horrific and said, I condemn this massacre in the strongest terms, stressing that these attacks by Israel must stop and now. The Commissioner of the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees, the UNRWA, Philip Lazzarini, described the Israeli crime and the conditions in Rafah as a tragic and said that the images coming from the city were horrifying and completely disturbing. The African Union condemned the Israeli crimes and the president of the African Commission, Musa Faki, said that the Israeli air strikes are evidence that Israel continues to violate the international law. Israel turns a blind eye to international criticism of its inhumane acts and the heinous crimes it commits against children and women in Gaza. Today, another massacre it committed in Al Mawasi area in western Rafah, killing 21 displaced Palestinians, most of them were children and women.